India against Iran, round number 8 of Chess Olympiad 2024. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, Grandmaster from Israel and today we will watch together the fourth board of the unstoppable Indians team. Grandmaster Vidit. In yesterday's match between India and Iran, Vidit had the white pieces against the Grandmaster Puye Idani. It's important to mention that we are now looking at these young Grandmasters who has somewhat faded into the background as the whole world watches the three stars Gukesh, Pragananda and Arjuna Rigaisi. Just a little something for you to know. As you can see behind me, I bought a new on air and also a few sets of black Chesscom shirts. You can see it. So take a note of my investments in you. All right, let's get started. So Vidit played the move e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes, knight takes, knight f6, knight c4, and, and knight c3, of course, and a6. The knight of opening with the black pieces, and Vidit is going for the bishop c4. I can tell you that I played one time match in Czech Republic, and you know, my opponent just every single day game that I played Nidorf, he played the bishop c4. He really prepared, you know, he really was well prepared in this line. And you know, I I think two times I lost to him, and after it, uh, you know, my my uh, my good friend uh, helped me to to improve this variation with the black pieces and i managed to win uh, in the very important game in the last day so bishop c4 is very interesting line against the nidorf let's see how vidit is playing this one e6 and now bishop e3 the main line here is to play the move bishop b3 knight bd7 castle knight c5 uh, I don't know, queen f3, queen e2, so many things here, also here f4 there is a move, also here you can play the move queen f3, you can play here f4, you can play here castle, it's very complicated and very interesting because, you know, for example, after castle, bishop e7 and I don't know, for example, a4, knight bd7 here is not good because of bishop takes e6, f takes, knight takes, queen uh, b6 for example, I don't know, knight takes g7, knight f5, so it's very complicated uh, position and black must know something here, um, you know, to, to be fine. So after e6, he played the move bishop e3. Something that I can tell you that I'm not remember what to play uh, with the black pieces here. So b5 was played, bishop b3 and now bishop b7. Of course, attacking the pawn on e4 and also preparing maybe b4. Uh, maybe the question, the interesting question, what will be after b4 immediately? So probably just knight a4, and after knight takes e4, if you're grabbing this pawn, just castle. And this is very nice, you know, just, you know, every piece are really good, uh, improved and also developed. The next moves will be queen f3, rook e1, rook a d1, and maybe some sacrifice, knight e6, knight f5, knight b6, so many interesting lines here. So yeah, it's, it's very complicated to play like with all of these pieces here. So... After bishop b3, bishop b7 was played, attacking the pawn on e4, f3 of course, just defend it, and now knight c6. Queen e2, and as you can see, this one, uh, knight c6 was a little bit surprised for Vidit, uh, as he thought after queen e2, you know, for queen e2, 15 minutes, it's just uh, really surprising, but let's see. Queen e2, the point here that he's really, really flexible with his uh, plans, maybe he will go for the short castle, maybe for long castle, we don't know until now, right? So let's see, queen e2, knight a5 was played. This was a little bit strange, you know, maybe bishop e7, I don't know, long castle, queen c7, because knight a5, I don't know if you really want to grab this bishop. Because as you can see, this bishop for now is not so good, only is looking for this e6 pawn. So long castle, knight takes b3, and here Vidit played a very beautiful move, I think. C takes b3. Not to play a takes b3 or knight takes b3. He's going for with c. He's telling, you know what? I'm not afraid from this file. I will go just king b1 and that's it. I will be safe absolutely. And yeah, it's, it's really nice move because 
After a takes b3, black will try to play against this pawn on c2. How he can do it? For example, rook c8, queen c7, b4, e5, and this pawn on c2 will be weak a little bit. So it's really nice. C takes b3, very interesting uh, option uh, to play. Bishop e7, king b1, as we saw, and as we learn, you just, just put the king on b1, and that's it. The king is totally safe there. Long, uh, you know, short castle and g4 is going for the attack. Um, and this is, was a little bit mistake, and it's not so easy to understand why. So black played the move b4, uh, but now there is a very interesting line. Okay, also b4 immediately is fine. Knight f4, and now knight takes g4. This is the best for black. After f takes g4, bishop takes e4. King a1, bishop takes h1, rook takes. And this position, yeah, not so easy to understand because you have like uh, two, two knights for a rook, right? Um, but this knight is not so good here and also two pawns for black so uh, and also these pawns are really you no know, like just going forward so it's not so easy to understand who is better in this position um, maybe black so after knight f4 he didn't took it he played the move knight d7 really fast and this was a mistake let's see h4 going forward and of course bishop takes h4 is a very bad move after i don't know queen a h2 looks very promising attacking here and yeah it's just really bad uh, i don't know g5 just queen takes d6 yeah the game is over so h4 uh, he played the move queen a5 now bishop g5 this is really interesting move that uh, uh Vidit is playing you know he's telling you know this d6 pawn will be weak after uh, these exchanging uh, bishops and also if you are taking this h takes and also this h file will be open for my rook so after queen takes g5 for example queen h2 with double attack right and this position looks really interesting for white i really like it and uh, but maybe near here knight e4 takes bishop takes king a1 yeah this position is already losing because queen takes g4 rook f d8 yeah so what is going on here after knight f6 maybe knight b6 i can play with knight c4 but also I'm not sure yeah maybe this one because you know white has some uh, initiative in this position uh, because of this h file the queen on g5 not so good play you know um, yeah I, I, I like the white position like, I must agree you know I, I knight, knight c4 yeah the, this pawn on d6 is under attack maybe king a1 f4 g5 yeah Really nice, I think. Bishop g5 was played, so I, I like this move. Uh, a very, you know, dramatic move because of, you know, not a serious uh, hit there, but also a very positional move to just exchange these two bishops. And telling Black, you know what, I really want to exchange your one pair of bishops. Uh, rook f8 was played. Um, yeah, so may maybe, yeah. I what, what can I say? Just took, took, and h5. Also, g5 really looks uh, nice. This d6 pawn will be weak. I don't know. h5, the point, of course, to play h6. And rook c8 was played. I'm not sure why he didn't play the move h6. For me, it's, it seems very logical. Uh, because rook c8, just h6, going for it. And after g6, this position looks very terrible. You know, the, the, the black square is here. Just uh, really awful for black. So yeah, to bring the opportunity to play h6 is very bad. Knight f6 was played, rook h1, another very strong move. And now he recognized that knight e4, this is the threat. Rook h1, just uh, defend it. Prophylactic move, rook ec7, a3, a very strong move, of course, attacking this b4 pawn. And of course, about this pin, don't forget it. Knight e7, f4, e5, a takes b4, bishop takes e4, just rook takes. Queen d5, queen d3 was played. Um, yeah, maybe better option was to play queen e1 to defend the rook and also to provide to this file uh, to be open after e takes d4. I don't know, just rook takes or this rook takes with knight c3, rook takes d6. Looks looks very bad. This position, of course, is winning absolutely. Yeah, it seems very bad. I don't know, rook c4, knight c3, rook e7. Yeah, this pawn is doing just perfect. So queen e3 was played also another very strong move, knight f6. Rook e1, takes, 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 g5, knight h5, just rook takes d4. You know, this is very funny to look uh, on these three double pawns, triple pawns, sorry. But it's just a very winning position because you will you will promote it somewhere. So rook f8 was played, rook d6, knight f4, knight c5, knight e6, just takes, takes, rook a6, 
e5, b5. Going forward with the pawn, now rook a7, rook g7, and now rook c1. The next move will be rook c7 and just game over immediately, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, you can see here, number four of Indian Steam, Vidit. Very strong player, of course, and you know, he's um, helping the three young grandmasters, you know, the superstars from India to climb for maybe to win this Olympiad 2024 in Hungary. So if you like this video, press the like button, subscribe my channel for more chess content. And today we have India against Uzbekistan. See you soon in the next videos. Bye. Bye.